Yeah, Rap Radar Podcast, Elliot Wilson. Be that. Be that. What's up, baby? I feel like we're home away from home. Yo, it's an honor, man. We're in the home of a certain gentleman. Yes. DJ Khaled. Cheers, cheers. The cheers, cheers. Yes. cheers. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, Ooh. welcome to the, the Khaled residence. Mm. You know, we call this the resort. <laughs> it feels like it. Yeah, this is the resort. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but we, you know, I'm honored to have y'all here. You know, y'all my brothers and um, I'm glad you got to meet the queen. Yes. You, you met Asad yes. today, right? You, you seen Asad yeah, today? Yeah, yeah, sir. Asad and Alam. So, you know, this is the Khaled family. And also this is where classics happen. Oh, it's yeah. Anthems <laughs> are built. Oh, yeah. Like, why is that room, like, that room we've seen on Instagram, it's a small room, right? Yeah. And, like, yeah. it's not even like a booth in a side. The artist is next to you recording. Like, yeah. talk about the magic that happens in that studio. I mean, you know, the energy, this, the whole property is just, is truly a blessing. You know, the way I got this property was a blessing. You know, from hard work, dedication, um, staying focused, and focus on the goal. So, you know, when you when you blessed to be able to put your family into something that you dream for, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, you see your kids running around. The energy is just beautiful. Yeah. You know, as the the blessing to get it and to be in it, and at the same time as you know, I've made one of the rooms is my studio, mm -hmm. and but that's but, a small room as well. Yeah, saying. but but it's it you. you, you Besides making the records with me, you know what I'm saying, you won't get the experience of the passion, the love, the family, and what we're here to accomplish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta, when you walk in that room, it's gotta be, it gotta be the highest level of performance. Mm -hmm. And that room, you know, we'll talk more about this later, but like usually when I play a record in that room and an artist, you know, is you know, some artists take their time and they you know, go back, come back. And then some artists are just great at just catching a vibe and go. Mm -hmm. That room is so special. Every time I turn the, the, the track on and, and explain the idea and the energy that I want to do, yeah. I'm talking about verses is like coming out like magic. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like immediately. You know what I'm saying? And and this album, I got a chance to document some of it. Mm. So it's special, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause a year ago, Cali Cali dropped. And now yeah. we're here with God, God did. Like, did you have plans to return this fast? Well, I always like, um, not just in music, but I always like to be every year consistent. Mm. Yeah. So on the music side of things, I like to put an album out every year, no later than like a year and a half. Yeah. Okay. The only time I ever took like two years of separation was because I was, at that time I was moving uh, situations. Okay. Yeah. New partnerships. Labels. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. sometimes. Business. Yeah. yeah you got to handle your thing and do it. But I try to come out every year. And the reason why I do it is because I love to do it. I get the itch. Yeah. Mm. I always get the itch to work around November, my birthday time. The itch is, you know, and ideas just start coming out. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm back making another yeah. album. And then what I notice you always do is you have like the big January meeting with your team. Right, January is like... the, yeah. <laughs> we, we set it off with the goals, what we're gonna do the whole year, and the album is always involved. Mm. But what happens is, um, you know, I tell myself, when you're consistent every year with music and you make great albums and break great anthems, and you're consistent every year, you're ahead of the game. Mm. You're ahead of the time. So when people work with you, you're timeless, meaning as in like, you take too much of a break, you might get caught up in that. Cause this, this world's moving too fast. Yeah. It's a fast world. Right. Yeah. Like faster than ever you said because that with of Timberland. the yeah. phones. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so fast. So even music, you get you, a, a Friday release is like so much shit come out. Yeah. So what are you gonna do to break through all that? Mm. The record got the album and the record's gotta be incredible. You gotta show the fans and the people around you that you worked hard. You know, you gotta show them this shit ain't just not everybody can do the one post. Yeah. Not every everybody got their own thing. Mm -hmm. My thing is to show my fans the experience. Yeah. Put to go together. so fucking hard. But then at the same time, as um, I've been saying this lately, I'm like, how can anybody outwork me if they not me? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. I've been blessed for my peers to say, Cal, you work hard. Like, Puff called me the other day, like, yo, you a marketing genius and this and that. And I'm like, yo, Puff, I'm just getting started. And this is, this is the, this Puff Daddy. Right. Yeah. You know, he's master marketer. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. he's telling me, I have it. I have it. I'm not making this up. I have the audio. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, no, no, I'm not making it up. Right. Like, you ask him. Yeah. So, what I'm trying to tell you is that he's telling me all the stuff that I look up to him. Yeah. You know, and he's telling me all this stuff. And I'm like, you know, besides music, people don't realize I'm a hustler. Mm. And I, I and I want to make it clear today because I think people got it like, you know, like yeah. not 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 the people and the fans, because the fans, they, 
I think certain people don't get it. I'm a hustler. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Any any true hustler see me work, they salute and we salute each other. Yeah. I'm a hustler, meaning as in, I was raised by my mother and father that worked seven days a week mm. and took care of me and, and my brother and sister, fed us and loved us and raised us right, but also worked seven days a week and never took a day off. All right. shifts. So all I shifts. gotta see them work all shifts. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to tell you is, like my my drive is, I'm a hustler. But how do you maintain that drive? And what does it mean when you look and say, DJ Khaled, it's about to be a 13th studio album. Mm. 13, Cal. That's crazy. 13. No, no, B. Elliot, 13. Like, let's keep it real. That's a lot. Yeah. Several, who I was telling the other day, I was like, I was telling this one person, and I looked in that person's face and I said, in this situation, the conversation I was having, mm -hmm. I'm the unicorn. Mm. I'm, no, 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 no. I'm the one, no, like, there's certain, I'm not making this up. And mm -hmm. I have to have to always do this to myself mm -hmm. because it keeps me going and say, I can't believe we, we accomplished the goal again. Yeah. What I'm saying is like, it's very besides Caleb being a music man and a producer and a DJ, don't forget I'm also just a true fan. Yep. So if you think about your favorite artists, they either do this, right, yes, yeah, and they do that. Mm -hmm. Right. Nothing wrong with that. It's, it's, everybody mm -hmm. got a different journey. Mm -hmm. Some do this and do that. And then some do this, and it just don't stop. Mm. And they stay there. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and I've been blessed to be one of those guys that keep doing this yeah. because it goes back to the consistency. Yeah. You show people you work hard and you great at what you do. Right. Same way we look at LeBron James or Michael Jordan or your favorite athlete. You see them fucking in that gym working hard every single day and, and winning rings and, and winning games and, and scoring the highest points, even if they don't win a championship or a playoff. That one player, you like, yeah. he the one. Right. And what he keep doing, when he done doing what he do, for instance, look at Jay-Z, our brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The man been like this the whole time. Yeah. From, yeah. from Marcy to this, look. And it's not stopping. Right. Yeah. He just getting started. Mm -hmm. God did 13th album with me. This is my new chapter of the next level of leveling up. Is this why you say you made this album for the believers and the non-believers? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I say that, they don't believe in us. Um, God did. Um, so I'm gonna tell you how the name came about. Yeah. Yes, because it was around March so, when you did it on Instagram. Yeah, was, I yeah, I did it on Instagram and it started organically. Mm -hmm. People was using that as their. It, it resonated with them mm -hmm. right. because it resonates with me when I said it. So yep. I was sitting right over there where we were chilling, and it was like I was on the phone, and this person was telling me something. And at the one point, I started looking at the phone, like, you know, you, you can't believe what this man's saying, right? <laughs> right. So I'm looking at the phone now, like, and I'm looking around, see if anybody hearing what I'm hearing, but there's nobody in the room. So I'm looking at the phone now, and I say, yo, let me call you back. Yeah. I put the phone down, and this is real talk. Mm -hmm. I had my head down. I ain't gonna lie, it, 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 I was like depressed. Mm. Put my head down, I was like, man, they don't believe in us. And immediately, God lift my head up. I say, God did. I'm not making this up. You might mm -hmm. think it's funny. This shit is real to me. Mm -hmm. right. Immediately my head went up. God said, keep your head up. Keep your chest high. Yeah. Do not stop. Keep going. And you know, that's my mentality. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I needed that too. Yeah, Sometimes, the tough phone call. Yeah, you just got and, right and, and baby, go up. up. I said, yeah. God did. So immediately I start talking to myself like I always do on the gram mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever. It's just, you know, shit I'm saying on here, I'm talking to myself too. Yes. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yo, they don't believe in us. God did. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not even realizing I'm talking about me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit resonated with the whole world. Mm. I started seeing everybody doing, I'm like, oh my God, look at God. And I'm like, this is my this is the name of my album, mm. God did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for, for the non-believers, because I don't have a problem with the non-believers. I really mm -hmm. don't. Because it's always more love than any other energy. Yeah. And we don't realize that because this world is crazy. You know, that's just in the music world. This world is just, we've been through a lot. Right. Yes. And that's why, yes. you know, when we made the record Staying Alive, I felt like that name of that song and just, you know, you know how, how, how infectious that hook is. Think about all the shit we've been dodging. We going out, we dodging Corona. They talking about this new shit out here. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? This shit just, everything we got, when you leave your house, you dodging everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's real times. Mm -hmm. So this album is called God Did, and I just felt like it's resonating with the people, the youth, and they connected with me and they 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 know what I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Well, that title resonates to an amazing title track. That's its own 
Bring out another drink. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, I need another drink. Melissa. One of them, one of them, them theories, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, my thing is, you just played us some of the album, and again, yes. we'll, we'll get back to the yeah, fact yeah. that you have already these anthems already done, and you're still cooking up to the last minute for last minute magic. Yeah, yeah last minute magic. But but is but the to, to focus on the title track because me and B Dot heard it, and yeah. we we are amazed. I mean, my thing is like you accomplish in that one track, then most artists can accomplish in a whole album. Like, take us through that process of that song. Well, that song is crazy because if you notice when I dropped the album trailer, I don't know if you had a chance to see the album trailer. Yep. We had like the God did. Don Just, Tolliver, right? Yeah. No, no, that's not Don. I mean, oh. in the trailer, Don oh, yeah. Tolliver. It was a bunch of people in the trailer. It was yeah. uh, uh, Drake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was just me and my kids. Yeah. It's a, like a theme music. God yeah. did. Yeah. Kid Friday, he's a writer and, and I think he's also an artist. Um, Bless Up Friday. And he, you know, sang my talk. They don't believe in us. God did. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. What happened was when I dropped the trailer, the, the trailer to announce the name of the album, it took off. It took off, resonated again. It, it, like people resonated with the title. I was like, you know what? And I always was gonna do it, is make it into a song. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I said, I'm gonna make that decision after I announced my album title on the trailer. Mm -hmm. I knew I was gonna do it. Mm -hmm. not, not, not the people that's on it, but I knew I was gonna make a track out of it. Yep, yep, okay. So boom, that shit come out, and I'm, people are loving the title. The energy's good. Um, people get inspired by it, motivated by it. I'm like, boom. So all I needed to feel is inspiration. So I went in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Got with my team and made the dopest track, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wasn't worried about who's gonna go on it. Mm -hmm. I was just focused focus on, on the, the music. Production, okay. Cause I was inspired. So that's how my, all my albums are. I wanna focus on the production of music. If it's me and my team making it, or if it's me collaborating with other great producers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The music gotta be right. For me to think of some ideas or, or, or add some instruments or whatever, the music gotta be right. So the music's right now. I'm like 90% done with the album. Mm. The music's right. I'm like, man. And I knew this song was missing of the album. Like certain songs make turn the album conversation different when you make the right song to present the album. It makes you hear everything clearer. Mm -hmm. Because you're like, if he can do that, what's next? Mm. And I know my favorite albums when I bought like a favorite album. It's, it's a certain way it got to resonate with me with a message or, or a sound out the gate. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I'm saying? So boom, once the music was right, I was like, I was in um, Bahamas. You know what I'm saying? Every time I make an album, if you notice, go through the years I've made them, I like to go to the mm -hmm. island. I like to go to Jamaica. I like to go to Bahamas. For a lot of reasons. Oh, thank you, thank you. So this chef and listen, this chef yes, and famous chef. Melissa. Melissa. Um, <laughs> so. I'm catching a vibe, and I'm like, man, you know, Rose, my brother. Yes, right. sir, Ricky Rose. And I was like, yo, I, you know, Rose on all my albums. Yeah. Which is a blessing, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, man, I could, I could do this with Rose, I could do this with Rose. I said, nah, the Rose I want is when I heard Freemason. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I heard Tears of Joy. Lord knows. Um, Lord knows. Yeah, Lord I wanted knows. that Rose. And you know, I've been, you know, you know, Rose, my brother, I've a and those you know, albums, yeah. A lot of his albums mm -hmm. with him, and our our history is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So I know what Rose do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so if I call Rose or Rose, I need you to go here with it. And um, but the music, when I said to him, I knew the music was gonna speak to him. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to tell him it's gonna speak to him a certain way. I already know what he's gonna do. He gave do. him the direction though, right? I mean, with well, the God did the direction. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but with Rose, I knew already by me just sending it, he knew what that meant. Okay. Mm -hmm. And have you seen that part when he said uh, something said, you see that passion he put for me and the beat drop, God did like, you know, when Rose do that, I'm gonna tell you, when he go into that different voice, the, the you know, the one that fucking like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but it's a different, like it come out where you gotta drop the beat, that's a different Rose. Mm. That only come out <laughs> unless that music talking. I know, trust me. So Rose sent me the verse, unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, you want an I said on IG, I'm like, yo, I got a verse. Yeah, yeah the verse it's is making incredible. me feel a certain way. That's why I do it. Why this, I do this it? This is the reason why I do this music because of these feelings. Mm -hmm. And you know what feeling I'm talking about? Yeah, that's hip hop. Yeah. So boom, I'm like, you know what? I want to put Wayne on this. Mm. And I'm like, I know. I called Mac Man and said, I know when Wayne hear this, just tell him Khaled said, <laughs> catch the Holy Ghost. Mm. <laughs> Did you give it with Rick Ross's verse on it? Um, uh, he got the the session and 
he might have heard me like because I, you know, I, I document all my yeah. me listening to shit. So I might have sent like a snippet. Okay. It's just me listening to it. Um, I do that with all my my brothers. Like it's me vibing to my music, mm-hmm. so they can feel what it's doing to me. The energy, yeah, yeah, yeah. So boom, Wayne. Not only does he demolish it, the Ooh. the see this particular record, you you have to listen to it like ten times to catch every bar. Yeah, because it's too many bars. Too yeah, and then the way they flowing is so incredible. Cause the music's got your hair sticking up, the vibe, and they 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 the cadence on it's unbelievable. And then the hook come in, it's infectious, yeah. and then and it, now you're you, you you know it's it's, it's gospel. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> boom. So I went to go see Ho. And I went to go see Ho for two reasons. I wanted to play in my album where I was at with it. Like I'm 90% done at that time. But I'm playing my album and I also wanted to show him my two album covers, and I want him to pick the album cover. Mm. So I gave him, I always show him my album covers. I show him like two of them. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm, I'm cool with either one. I'm happy yeah, with yeah. either one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we, you know, the one he picked is the one I wanted too. I was trying to tell everybody this is the one. Right. <laughs> it's the one. It's the one. That, and he picked the same one. <laughs> okay. So boom. So I play him my album. You know, I was like, oh, I want to play you my album. Um, so I was grateful for the time. You know, the man busy. Mm-hmm. To be able to sit for like an hour or something in a room with me and just listen to music is... Prices. Yeah. It's price of moments. And I, you know, at the same time as yo, oh, you know, before I even push play, I was like, yo, you know. You're always welcome. You know, you know, <laughs> I, I said, you know, you know, <laughs> like I mean, I need you. Yeah. Um, not even just that. I know I, you know, we've done a lot. I know if you say no, I get it. Mm-hmm. But it's nothing wrong with being great all the time. Right. <laughs> like, like, what do you want me to do? Not be great? <laughs> I gotta be great. I said, just let them, if the music speaks to you, I need you. Right. You know, with the big dogs, that's what I tell them. If the music speaks to you, mm-hmm. don't fight it. If it speaks to you, you got to do it. It's like, right. as it's, the, it's the love. It's mm-hmm. no more about, because you're my brother, it made you feel a certain way. Mm. Yeah. I play him, you know how that shit start with the Yes. Yeah. Jizzy Drake. Drake. Jizzy Drake blesses me, you know, not with just staying alive. With no secret. Yeah. So it start off with no secret. And he talking that shit. Like, it ain't no secret that we the biggest. Right. It ain't no secret that we the top dogs. Dog. <laughs> like, like, no, I mean, you gotta listen to that lyric. Y'all better breaking out lyrics and shit. Yeah. I'm just telling you what, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what made me feel, feel like yeah. I, I had to tell Drake, oh, you're talking about me, right? Like, cause yeah. Yeah. I get it. Like I understood every <laughs> lyric to the T. Yeah. And it's not a secret that we the biggest. Right. So Drake just lets lets it go mm-hmm. to a point where you want more, mm-hmm. but I faded out. Yeah, know? yeah. You know every you know these big albums, you know these special moments, it fades out mm-hmm. after that message, and then it goes into God did. Mm-hmm. So boom, that's how I played it for Hope. Yeah, mm-hmm. just letting you know how I played it for yeah. Hope. Like, right. He's like, oh shit, this is a five. I see, you know, I know my brother. He's like. Mm-hmm. Champagne, shit started cracking. Right. The the ace. shit, A started spilling. <laughs> you know, then the man started chopping up the cigar. No, I'm just telling you what happened that yeah. day. So I saw yeah, the picture. yeah, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just flowing. Mm-hmm. Natural. You know, the album just started. I didn't get to number two yet. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like you did with us. Right. Yeah. So I'm saying, boom, the shit come on. I see him like this. <laughs> see him look at me like I say. And I'm I'm looking at other everybody else. Going, I try to tell you. I try to tell you. Mm. Like I was like, look, I know what's gonna touch him. And he's like, and boom. He's like, what the fuck? I get to see his head like mm. doing that when Hove do that. And then um, I purposely left the instrumental open. Oh, got you. So now the instrumentals are open. It's playing loud. So he's doing this, and then you start seeing the. Mm. Like you, you know, shit yeah. start coming out of like his head. Like, shit. like he's like, this shit. I can tell, it's like, like I'm mad that we didn't have the mic in the room. Like, let it go. Like, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? Let it go, because that's what music does, and that's what happens in that room. Mm, yeah. So we playing it. He going crazy after that stop. He's like, this shit is unbelievable. It's beautiful. You know, it's beautiful. So now we really. The bottles are cracking. Yeah, mm. Now I'm still talking. I'm, you know, I know what it did to him. I'm gonna get back to the yeah, conversation. Yeah. So now I'm playing in the album. You gotta right. leave it, yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, playing the album, and he like, 
like the same way y'all was, like, you know, I put like, I'm like seven in now. He's like, this shit, make a long story short. Mm -hmm. He said it's my best album. Mm. And it, 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 when he said it, it was so genuine. Like, you know, like when someone, it wasn't like how, you know, it's like an interview or worry about if a camera's on, just genuine saying, yo, this your best album. Yeah. And I never forget, he grabbed my head like that. You know what I'm saying? And there's a, actually a picture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like smiling, boom, boom. And don't forget, you know, I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm sauced up. I'm just drink like, you know, <laughs> right. fucking with hove. You know, hove fuck around, have you drink like All seven day. bottles, you don't even know it. Yeah. Right. Cause the vibe, right? It's just a vibe. Mm -hmm. We in the room, he's like, yo, send me that thing, mm. that theory. <laughs> he said, send me that. Mm. He also said, send me these other three too. No, no, I'm, I'm just keeping it honest. Ooh, if that's okay. what you want me to be honest, so I sent him four. Okay, just letting you know how dope the album is. The, I'm not. I, I don't know if he's rapping on four. I have right. no idea. But when Ho says send him four, it's sent. Right. <laughs> I already knew in my heart, in my gut, that God did. He's gonna go with. God he's gonna go crazy. Yeah. Cause we was vibing. I was like, you know, you know how I, every time somebody come on my album, like. Mm -hmm. You know, Ross did, or Lil Wayne did, mm -hmm. Hove did, Drake did, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, that's who believe in us. So I'm like, Hove did. Mm. I guess, you know, not only did he do, he did. He reminded everybody what Hove did. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, so when he cut the verse. Were you still in New York at this time? I'm in New York, so I get, I, I, I'm on my way to fly to Toronto to shoot Staying Alive. Okay. Woo. So. You know, he got the records down. I fly back. So let me skip something. In the room, he started spitting bars of God did it. I wish Jamie was here, she would tell you the verse. He started saying all his bars. Right. Like Coming the first four bars yeah. on there, he said them. Mm. Just, right there. So you, I'm walking out of that room losing my mind. Like, oh my God, I, I was telling none of you, yo, remind him, don't let him forget those shits. He's looking at me, I don't forget nothing. Mm. That's when the whole come out. I don't, he gave you so many bars. We haven't yeah, heard him give that many bars in like years. In a long like, time. As, I mean, just when you thought it was gonna stop, he kept going. Yeah, and that's what's so beautiful about it because that shows you how powerful music is. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a blessing that we can get all of them on one record, which is a big blessing. Those are right. all goats. Yeah. Let's keep it real. Like this. All of them on one record. Then at the same time, for Hove to be able to let stuff that we never heard him talk about once you break down the bars, there's so many, you'll understand what I'm saying. Like yeah. he, like, you know, he reminded people what Hove did from the turnpike mm. to motherfucking everything. Like the man started talking crazy. The man said some shit about something, something in the mud, something face mask. <laughs> right. This, like it's too many lyrics. Yeah, yeah. It's too, no, I'm being real. It's too many to break down. You know, I see uh, Hove in, in gigs. I see a lot of Hove in gigs. Mm. You know, that's, you know, shout out to gigs. Mm. You know, then he said, Boom, it, it, he set yeah. up the next slide. Yeah, yeah. It's just so many, it's just, it's just, it's, it's not only a dream come true, it's, it's, this is a blessing for all of us. Yeah, not just yeah, Cali, it's yeah. a blessing for hip hop. Talk to us about what last minute magic looks like. I mean, last minute magic, I'm gonna be real <laughs> shit. This shit, like right now I'm doing this interview stressed, but in a, in a good way. Mm. You know, like this is like, I feel like it's happening and it happened, but until it's out, yeah, mm. I, I I I I don't take nothing for granted. You're still constructing big records. Yeah, it's, yeah. No, like I'm gonna be. I promise you, this thing I'm talking about is this really God did. Like, mm. like meaning as in something I've been trying to pull off my whole life. Wow. And as of today, it's happening. Mm. But until it comes out, yeah. I you know because it's so it's yeah, so we much. Can't jinx it's, that. It's, 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 this, this, <laughs> this is this is like. Like we just got to talk about hove. Yes. Without hove's blessing, like mm. certain people, you gotta get their blessing for it to, to happen. Like when you work with Six God Hove, and I'm not gonna name yeah. this other situation that's happening right now because yep. I want it to actually happen. Yeah. So I don't want to jinx myself. Of course, of course. But did it happen? Yes. Mm. So now I gotta make sure it, it actually comes out, which is going to because this is God did. But you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Like I, I I have to tell myself, Calvin, <laughs> hold up, but it's happening. I saw on Instagram you posted one time, you said you have no idea the things I have to go through to give you an incredible at album and the biggest anthems. 
I want to know what are some of those things that you had to go through? What are, what's the um, process like? I mean, just, you know, behind the scenes, people don't realize besides clearances and sample clearances and artist clearances and, um, you know, video shoots and, you know, first of all, the blessing working with all these great artists, you know, these guys are busy. Mm. I shot the little baby, man, you know, coming off his tour, doing my video, jumping back on a jet and going straight to stage. Oh, wow. He did that two times, mm. you know, for staying alive and, and big time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, that meaning as in, man, what a blessing. Mm. Then I mean, they don't believe in us ones too. Like the people that's trying to like slow shit up, you know, if it's a, if it's a clearance or whatever. We bless everybody, you know, it's not my first rodeo, mm -hmm. so everybody show love. <laughs> but also, you know, it's like sample clearances that you, you're so in love with and you want to make happen, you pray that it gets approved and mm -hmm. not, you know, you don't want to take no as an answer. That's when I go in a different mode. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I might know somebody, you know, that know that person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to go in that mode. Mm -hmm. And we bless, everything's going beautifully. But when I mean, when I say that to the people, People don't realize what happens behind the scene. They just think we just put a record out. Right. Yeah. Like it's a lot from mixing to shooting the video to getting the approvals. Um, then also, let's keep it real. Not everybody um, gonna be happy that you got hit records in your drive. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Let's just be honest with each other. Not everybody happy that you got the new Rap Raider, Rap Raider podcast. Yeah. yeah. Of course you got mad love. We love you. You know that. <laughs> but. They love us. There's, there's people I'm out so. there that might not yeah, be excited yeah, yeah, about yeah. this. Me and yeah. like, oh shit, they coming yeah. back. Yeah. Right. Because it's like, how does Khaled keep getting excited? Y'all deal with this shit. Don't act like y'all don't deal with it. Y'all deal with it. It's called life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But right. we bless, we great. So when I say that, I really a message about, you know, people that work hard. You know, here, let me sum it up. A lot of people see the glory, mm -hmm. but don't know the story. Facts. Yes. That's just facts. Yeah. yeah. You see Khaled right now. <laughs> Sitting with B Dot and Elliot Wilson, you know, with that silks on, diamonds <laughs> on. But they, that's the, they see the glory. Yeah. But a lot of them don't know the story. So, mm. so what's the story behind this DJ Khaled Drake connection? And why does it continue to Well, flourish? if you think about our, our uh, friendship, think about from Fed Up. So let me tell you, Drake, you know, Cash Money, Young Money's always been family. Right. So when Drake got to um, Young Money and Cash Money, you know what I'm saying, you know, obviously, that was a blessing, you know what I'm saying? I Meaning as in, you know, Lil Wayne, my brother, Mac, my brother, Berg, the whole team. Mm -hmm. So when I got to meet Drake, I worked with him on Fed Up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've always was, a, uh, you know, watching the game, you know, who's popping and who's coming up, but I always knew he was special. As a young artist. Yeah, as a young Going artist, I knew he was special. And when I met him, his energy was just beautiful. And like, you could tell this kid is like ahead of his time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so I worked with him on Fed Up, and he did that for me. When I was, it was a super blessing. And then when we made our mom one, woo, big record. Yeah, our mom one was it, our relationship was already brothers. Yeah. But then our mom one, it was like this was like the the chap the beginning chapter of of what we're doing today. Mm. Like you know, this is we bought this is this is a collabo that I'm that he loved to do and I love to do. We're gonna be rocking with each other. Mm. That song Mama. made that mark that, you know, and changed. Remember when that song came out? The whole, the, yeah. everything shifted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it was a key line where he said, "Throne, don't is just for the taking." Yeah. So how did you feel when he sort of laid that down? Like he was. I mean, coming that, for I felt it. great. It's nothing wrong with saying that because that's some shit I say every day. Yeah. The only difference is that we on the throne. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you gonna try to take it. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying no, what I'm saying is what I'm saying is so he's supposed to say that. Yeah. So is any other goat supposed to say that. Yeah, right. And not you ain't the goat. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, so our relationship, we it's besides music, we yeah. really brothers. We the best OVO, really a family, friends, you know, the whole team, my team, his team. Yeah. And um just our catalog. I told him before we put staying alive, I was like, yo, I could put a catalog Drake greatest hits out. Mm -hmm. Now, if you think about it. The records that Drake do the most with is Khaled and Future, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 21, and um, Little Baby. You know, I'm talking about yeah. from then to up to date and yeah. Ross. Yep. I mean, shit. Like mm. every, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's a reason why he do that. Mm. Obviously, we all make great music together, but think about it. we're his brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know I can, I, I can say here today, that's my brother. So why do you like what he likes? I like <laughs> what Drake like. So with Drake, I 
You know, I'm one of the guys that speak where, speak what people are scared to say. Mm. Um, in the music game, I'm gonna tell you the truth, and, and I'm surprised nobody's saying it because I'm gonna say it. Mm -hmm. When you work with Drake, when you when you work with Drake. If you're you blessed to even work. Right, you, you even, thank you. <laughs> so you're talking real tall. When you're blessed to work with Drake, if he sends you something, mm. it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's facts. Mm. Don't fight it. Yeah. Mm. The other day was mixing. Yo, how you like the mix? You know what I'm saying? Even mm -hmm. if I wanted to turn the hi-hat up. Mm. Even if I thought this needed, I like <laughs> what Drake like, all right? Even if this one part sounds, and I thought I could change. Yeah. Drake, you like that? I love it. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, now if I was a rapper, mm. any rap, any singer, you get an opportunity where Drake, it's a blessing. Right. Follow same, his lead. Same, Follow yeah, his same, lead. same way, it's a blessing. To, they're gonna, God will they become as big as Drake. I'm not saying they not. Right. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he deserves that the same way all the other goats. You, you, yeah. you Not only do we, you follow the lead, once you have a real relationship, you can have any type of conversation about anything. But me knowing Drake and my experience working with Drake, he's a winner. Mm. And I'm a winner. And I tell, you know, and I know my like, people that look up to me to make sure we win, they don't question what I, when I, mm -hmm. I'm not yep. they don't question, they know, they believe. If I'm, they believe. Cause you, you've had the results. Right, and I've showed them, and then sometimes they might not get it. And I'm like, trust me, the same way when he tell me, I'm like, you know what? I believe. So how did he how did he present you staying alive in the BG's thing? Well, it's crazy because it um, you know Drake is actually the one that told me I played him. I played Drake. My album was like seventy percent done. Mm. Came in here and um, I played him. The guy did just the the thing I used for the trailer, mm. the music. It was just a, it was just the groove and the singing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, usually I announce my album title with my single, right? And I was like, yo, you think I should announce my album title with Staying Live, or should I announce my album title before that? Cause I wanted to really announce it right away, but I was like, let me ask him. Just, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's fucking six God. <laughs> I like what Drake like. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo. I said, no, I'm just being real, right? right? So I said, you think I should announce my album title before I drop my single? He said, like, yeah, you, like, you should probably use that for your trailer. Mm. So I, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to do that mm -hmm. without him saying it, but it's six God. I like what Drake like. So immediately I knew my mind was thinking right. Yeah. I was thinking right. So I ended up yeah. doing it. This real talk. Right. But let me tell you what happened with that. Cause originally, he's like, yo, man, you know, I was like, you know, we always like to do like two keys. Mm -hmm. You know, when I say two keys, two songs, or you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he's like, yo, check this out. No secret. Mm. So I was like, oh my God. I was like, yo, this is how my album gonna start. So he did it on his and, own. And, yeah, yeah. And, and, and then I'm going to go into this, but I didn't make the record of that yet. Mm. In my head, I was like, mm. I already know what I'm going to do. Okay. That's why I immediately, I was so inspired. Like, oh, no, I, this, if my album start like this, I got to bring this now. Because go mm. yeah. there ain't no secret that we the biggest. He set the song. Mm -hmm. That's just off a conversation, 20 minutes, 30 minutes in the studio with Six God. Mm. Then an hour dinner. We vibing now. You know? That's my brother, you know what I'm saying? Not just music, I just right. come to the house, chill, family. I go to his house, his family. But we inspire each other. Mm -hmm. We inspire each other all the time. We brothers and Drake, like, we look like each other too. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, right. that's my brother. Right. That's family, family thing, you know? Cheers to Drake, six Cheers. guys. Yeah, six guys. So you how know? did Little Baby get involved? So Little Baby, when Drake sent me the record, he said me right, I got something for us. So it was just Drake's vocals on it. Mm. I'm losing my mind. He goes, yo, me, you, and little baby. I'm like, of course. <laughs> like, so the concept- Great minds think alike. <laughs> of course, hold on, hold on. Okay. So boom, baby and them, I guess baby heard it already and was already, you know, they was already working, you know, cause those were brothers too. Mm -hmm. So I get my Hollywood star. Mm -hmm. So baby calls me to congratulate me that I got my Hollywood star, which is a, my, my brother, little baby, deal. called me. Yeah. I just got to my hotel room. I'm like, yo, I just want to call you. Congratulations on your star. That meant a lot to me. You know mm. what I'm saying? It's my brother. And um, he's like, yo, talk to Drake. I'm like, yeah, I talked to Drake. Um, I need you to cut that verse. Mm. He's like, you talk? I'm like, yeah, I talked to Drake. And I was like, yo, this is going to be the biggest thing. I need you to cut that verse. So he's like, cool. When I get to Miami, just cut it. Mm. 
so he came to Miami. We cut the verse, and you know, we cut. When I work with Lil Baby, we cut a bunch of records, yeah. mm. and it just comes out incredible. He loved working in my room, my studio, and our relationship is is pure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So now that then, as soon as I got everything done, I sent it to Drake. Um, matter of fact, Drake was shooting the video for the new album he dropped, um, the one in the uh, Honestly, wedding. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. So I, I sent him the record that day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, Drake, I need to get the video though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you ain't shoot a video in a long time. Last, our last video was Pop Star. Our brother Justin Bieber hold it down yeah, for yeah, us because yeah, yeah. it was the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I was like, I think we didn't shoot a video since No New Friends. Wow. wow. We dropped records before that, yeah. wow. but with no video. Mm. So I was like, yo, we got to do it. And he's like, absolutely. I'm like, damn, this shit going. <laughs> No, no, beat I'm, I'm bugging out now. Yeah. Usually, like, you know, schedule's like, no, we got to do it. Right away, matter of fact, right I'm going to be in Miami. I'm going to come see you at the crib, and we're going to figure it out. Mm. So now you're in the crib in Miami. I'm like, you know we got to shoot that video. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's like, no, we're going to do it, Khaled. Um, tells Future the Prince, put in the schedule. Mm. Drake and Baby, no problem. Schedule. It was unbelievable. And then on shooting the video was- and Drake's treatment, right? Yeah, Drake, mm. you know, throws an ID in the air. On set, we had a bunch of shit on the treatment. When Drake come on, boom, everything changed. We're doing this, doing that. He a genius. Mm. All those skits was done off the, off the fly. Ain't no mm. treatment. No, yo, Cal, I'm going to do this and, and then follow my lead. And, and, you know, I'm talking my shit. And I'm, you know, that was just off the fly. Mm. And it's one of the best videos I put out and the funnest mm. yeah. video. And not even just that, him to give me that time. You know what I'm saying? Like that time, not only to bless me, but also... A video too? Right. Bro, that shit, attention, everybody watching, any artist, you know it ain't easy to do that, to get Drake in the video. <laughs> right. I don't give a fuck what you say. You know what I'm saying? It's a big blessing. And my brother Drake and Lil Baby blessed me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, it definitely was a, a blessing to start the album before the album came out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. my album come, Staying Alive dropped, my album dropped, what, three weeks after that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is, you know, God did, staying alive. They don't want us to live, yeah. so we stay alive. They don't yeah. want us to live, God did. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And boom, the album come. What about your marketing side where you're like, you challenge the audience, you'll say like, you'll make bold statements and sometimes you may get a little backlash. You'll say, this is the hook of the century or this yeah. song is whatever. Like, do you try to challenge yourself when you do those no, things? No, 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 I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how that, you know. <laughs> First of all, the original staying alive is really, Unbelievable. The Bee Gees. Come on, let's not play ourselves. Yes. That's like one of the biggest records in the world. Wyclef did it too, early on. Right, so I'm trying right. to tell you. When Drake did it, he's such a genius. He found a way to take that staying alive concept and make it in an infectious, melodic way. He said, try me a hundred times. Mm -hmm. Wanted me to lie, wanted me to cry, wanted me to, ah, 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 staying alive. I don't know about you, it's incredible. Of course, it's one of the biggest hooks. Mm -hmm. Cause everybody's singing it, Elliot. Uh, uh, be, th listen, you can love me, hate me, whatever. One thing you can't, um, you gonna have to respect, everybody's singing this shit. This ain't nothing new. It's like, you, you, you know our catalog? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I say, I, I, say, in sync. I say, we all in sync. You know, like the whole right. world sings, like we are the world staying alive. <laughs> you would think we the fucking group in sync. <laughs> <laughs> was it a hard time getting the clearance from the Bee Gees? Was that um, it, it was, uh, um, shout out to the Bee Gees. You know what I'm saying? They, they cleared it. Um, it was a blessing. Um, you know, for them to, to clear it, it's an interpolation, you know yep, what I'm saying? Yep. And um, they cleared it and we beyond grateful for that for that clearance, you know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. It's not about being hard, it's about thank you. Mm. Cause nothing, e nothing wait, wait, what's that saying? Nothing easy comes, mm -hmm. you know, it don't come easy to right. win, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, so it was a blessing for them to take time to approve it. Yeah. Dope. I saw um, on your Instagram too, you had someone else in the studio, you had Shine. I saw him cutting oh, the yeah, record yeah, yeah. as well. Well, Shine, um, that's my brother with, I still cut dub plate. Right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's come, I come from sound culture, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, and, um, you know, my album, I didn't get a chance to play you the day y'all came and listened to it, but you know, every album I make a reggae, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I got on one record, Buju, Sizzler, Capleton, Bounty Killer, and Skilly Bang all on one record, which Ooh. is impossible mm. to do. Wow. I'm telling you, and shot the video. It's so special, so proud of it, so proud of it. And um, 
you know, and let's go back to my roots of when I used to be, uh, a, you know, 100% in the sound game, like sound yep. boy killing, yeah. sound, sound boy. system. And um, so I still cut dub and Sean was at my crib and like, yo, I want you to cut um, Bad Boy. So I yeah. had Buju already in Barrington. I needed already, Sean. You already had them do it. Right, I had them do it. Yeah. I knew, uh, you know, Sean, I knew it was, you know, get him, you know, and it was so crazy, he cut it and I heard that Sean voice. Mm which we all love and we missed. Yeah. And I remember when he first came home, he didn't have that voice. voice right. Yeah. right. Yeah. And he explained to me why that voice wasn't there. I let him explain it, okay. but he explained it to me. Yeah. And I looked at him like, damn, yeah. I understand. Yeah. And then how it's here now. And beautiful that he got it Right. Back. Yeah. So it's crazy. And then look at his journey. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to see uh, like a documentary or mm. movie yeah. on Shine. Talk about your journey though, Kelly. We all know Terror Squad, you stole at 99 gems. Like, but what has it been beginning for you? I, I read somewhere like, was it Peter Piper, Run DMC, that was like your joint? Yeah, Peter Piper is a perfect record to, to explain for me, because um, it's one of my favorite records, the cut up, scratch okay. up, but also my first official hip hop concert I've ever been to in a, like an arena. Mm. I forgot what tour was that. Run DMC, Beastie Boys, LL mm -hmm. Cool J. Yeah, yeah. It was like a big tour. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You know, on state, you yeah. know, the boom box, the whole shit. What city did you see then? North, North Carolina. North Carolina. Mm. And um, I never forget, you know what I'm saying, watching that show. And I was just at a, I, I was probably like, I, I don't know the exact age, but it had to be between 10 and 12. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or maybe even, I don't know, but I remember. And I started collecting vinyl at that time. Um, and I was the kid in the crew that I would make tapes for us off a boombox, you know, tape. And I was record like a pause button mm -hmm. and make mm. tapes, you know what I'm saying? And eventually I got my first turntable. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Then my 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 love for the music spot, my room was all records and cassette tapes. And I started buying like speakers and making my own, you know, like those car speakers back in the days, we used to have car speakers. Yeah. I would take that and I'd be my 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 DJ equipment, mm. you know, wired up so it's like a box, a homemade box with a Sherwin Sherwin Vega speaker in there. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so now I'm 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 starting to DJ. Mm. And while I was starting to DJ, I immediately fell in love to make beats. So I ended up buying like a MPC SB1200, and then and back in those days we sampled a lot. Mm. So yeah. you know I was you know. Producers like Diamond D and Pete yeah, Rock, okay. and, you know, Q-Tip and, you know what I'm saying, um, Dr. Dre and, you know, like the Illmatic, all the producers on that album, like think about Large Professor and, yeah. you know, all these incredible, um, and it's, a lot of those were DJ producers too. So True. I'm like, Puff Daddy, I'm looking at everybody like, man, this, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm inspired, I'm making beats and, and, and I fell in love with DJing and I just knew from that day mm -hmm. of, being in that garage, I said, man, this is what I want to do forever. Mm, yeah. it, it, it gives me a feeling that I could be in my boxers and a white tee in a room and, and I'm in heaven. Like mm. I'm just, it's the music. And yeah. I knew yeah. I wanted, you know, to be on that big stage. I knew I wanted to uh, be a music exec. I knew I wanted to be one of the biggest producers, DJ, artists. I knew I had so much in me, but I knew it was going to take time. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I knew it was gonna take um, a lot of hustle and a lot of grind because my expectations and my goals were so high. Yeah. And then, you know, remember, I used to do street team for, mm. you know, Black Moon and, you know, yeah. Smith and Wesson. And, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, you know, I got, you know, the, the, the bad boy days, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, so I got, I was just so in it from Jack the Rapper. Yeah. You know, I used to work for Jack the Rapper. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, meeting Joe at New Music Seminar. You know, I was in those, I, I got to see those moments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I got to see Funk Flex DJ at home base. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the first time I ever seen somebody use three turntables. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, live. Yeah. So, you know, this is me as a kid, not old enough to get in these clubs, I'm finding a way. You know what I mean? This is me as a kid flying to New York to go buy music at uh, Rock and Soul. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the white labels, just, it's just, I love it. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, when somebody talk about, you know, like the purest and the, we the fucking purest. <laughs> yeah, you said that before. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't, yeah. I, I, like when somebody act like, it, like yeah. you can't talk to me success, about. So success doesn't take that away. No, it don't, because it's, it's a feeling. Yeah. It's a love. 
And that goes back about making these records that to make music make you feel a certain way, you want to want to do it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. It's also important to have that love of the culture that to always still embrace the new. Like, you know, you have already established, you get what most people can't get, a J-verse, a Drake-verse. Well, you were upstairs with us braving about Nardwick and like the new artists yeah, that are on yeah, yeah. album. Like, talk about what the connection to the next generation. I'm loving the new artists right now. You know what I'm saying? Like Kodak. Mm-hmm. Um, not, you know, they're not new, right, but yeah, yeah. they you know, next they, generation. The next generation. Yeah. You know, I love Kodak, I love Narwick, I love Little Baby. Um Dirk. Dirk. Like he these guys are talking that shit. They talking them, you know how we love bars? Mm-hmm. They 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 got bars. We mm-hmm. had a conversation with Quavo and Takeoff. They were raving about the record that they cut for you. Oh man, listen, and Quavo and Takeoff, like, you know, we all love the Migos. We know what we love from them. We love that. Yeah. They they special. That nobody yeah. know how to do it like them. That bounce, yeah. I love that group. I, and the record we made was like, I felt like, yo, I'm looking around the room. Is it just me or this shit is fucking beyond <laughs> insane? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and everybody keeps saying to me, I'm like, yeah, it's just it's special. But um, the new generation, I love them because the ones that know how to take it to the next level, like little baby, you know. I don't compare nobody to nobody, but I'm talking about a feeling that I had, you know, work ethic. He has the work ethic of a little Wayne. Mm. Not comparing him to nobody. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying drive, like, that drive. I'm talking about the drive and the work. I've been <laughs> in the studio, a little baby will cut 10 records in your face. Mm. <laughs> if the vibe is right, yeah. and Wayne would too. Mm-hmm. I, I watched Wayne cut like 50 in my face. <laughs> And after that, maybe we take it over in brown paper bag after the 50 <laughs> cut. Jeez. No, I'm just telling you the yeah. truth. Future. Yes. Me and him, he, he'll cut like 20 in one day in your face. Like, if this vibe is right, I love the artists that take their talent and their craft to the next level. Mm-hmm. Because what they do is like a little baby. Not only is he making dope records and collaborating with, with, with me and other great people, he on tour, he everywhere, he getting a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Let's be clear. He's got the hot end. He a hustler. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I love it. He not slowing down. Other people, you know, I don't, I told you earlier in the interview, I'm a hustler. Mm. So when I see that, I'm like, that's right. That's <laughs> yeah, right. Get that, right. Keep going. Yeah. Don't stop. Real hustlers salute real hustlers. Mm. You know, all that other stuff, because they not hustlers. Mm. They don't understand this mentality. They don't understand this grind. They don't understand not sleeping only sleeping two hours. You know, when I when I tell people to hugging their pillow and putting slob over, I mean it. <laughs> right. Those guys that wake up four in the afternoon, mm. those are the people that you run so fast away from. Those guys will talk and complain all day mm. and wake up four in the afternoon. Not us. You're still in the meeting. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So <laughs> the new generation, I respect the, the ones that's taking it to They're the next I respect them all. Yeah. I'm talking about the ones that's taking it to the next level. You can see it, you can feel it, and they're not going nowhere. Mm. They're starting to become young. You know, no bosses, leaders. Yeah, young bar, yeah. and then after that, it can turn into the I, 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 Icons. right? I don't want it. Okay. Yeah, it, it turns, <laughs> it turns into it. Mm. You've seen it. I've seen, yeah, and I'm watching yeah. it happen now. You know what I'm saying? And those are the ones that I'm like, yes, you know, like, right, like I know, I know, I know the 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 hard work they put in. Yeah. So when is an artist ready for a DJ Khaled album? When do you realize that now is the time? Man, um, my albums, I have to. I want to be personally a fan. Mm, Besides the opportunity to make the record with you, I want to be able to be a fan. And like Nardo Wick, I'm like a fan of his. Mm. Before I started making this album, I kept telling everybody I want to put Nardo on my album. I didn't, I I said, I hope you want to do it. Yeah, Mm. you had never met him, I'm Yeah, I didn't meet him. I said, yo, before I even made the album, I was like, I want to put Nardo on my album. He dope. He dope, he dope, Mm. he dope. I kept putting kites out there, let him know I want to do something. And uh, Mark Pitts, Link me, yeah, yeah, me up with him. Mark Pitts linked me up with him. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, I uh, he sent that verse back, and I'm like, damn, this boy, he, mm. this guy here is unbelievable. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like the answer to your question: When is it time for to be on a Khaled album? Man, you gotta. I mean, it's with all respect. Mm-hmm. Like, you gotta put in that work. Mm. The same way I put in that work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if you put in that work, everybody's gonna expect you to be on the album. Mm-hmm. And there's people that Feels haven't been on my album that deserve to be on my album. I just, the way I make records, it's just, a, it's just, I just go with the vibe and the way I want to do it. It's not like I left somebody out. It's never that. It's just about, at that time, this is what was being made. Mm. Yeah. 
And I don't want to fight that feeling or force something. Because I'm going to make another one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I tell all the artists I haven't worked with, we're going to, you know, God willing, we're eventually going to work. Because we're going to make, I'm, I'm not, it's not my last, I'm keep going. <laughs> 13 is not it? <laughs> yeah, no, no. 13 no. ain't enough. <laughs> And, and women, they don't believe in us. Got keep going. And women are well represented too. Like you told Always. us, like we honored to have you on our program. But you talking about another artist we need to have on here is SZA. Yeah, you need like, to talk get, why SZA is so special. So SZA on my album. Um, this is second ch- second time I got a chance to work with her, and um, that's my sis. I just love talking to her on the phone or text. She's so pure. Like it's just like <laughs> when you make the record with her. Yeah, it's like. SZA knows when I say this, it's with all love. Like I get, I start breaking out and sweat and everything <laughs> because it's like, she's so pure. Yeah. No, it's so pure to the point like, yo, you know what I mean? And then, and I know she don't really do many features and we've been waiting for her album for a long time too. Yeah, yes. And I keep telling close. her, she's so amazing. She had an album, her debut album is a fucking masterpiece. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's and, it, and it, it's a classic. And I'm like, man, and we love her so much, she's so talented. So when I get a chance to get a record with her before she puts her new album out, it's a truly blessing. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know nobody that's not a fan of Scissor. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm a fan, everybody loves Scissor. Yep. Um, but she's also spiritual, mm. she's special. Um, and she's a beautiful person with a beautiful soul. And she blessed me unbelievable yeah. with my new record. And we're also fans of Jada Kiss. Yeah. You played us uh, a cut with him. Yeah. And you have the verses. Uh, yeah, uh, the verses. Yeah, so I took the snippet of um, when, you know, everybody got, you know, when he was on verses. Yeah, yeah. That one moment is a moment forever. Yeah. It's a moment in time. Mm-hmm. like, And I, I know it probably hit you the way it hit me when that happened. It was a good feeling hip-hop, at a time yeah. like mm-hmm. some real hip hop shit. And you're like, that's dope. And that's how God <laughs> kiss. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yes. you know, that's kiss doing that yes, shit. Yes. So it was a feeling. And, a, mm. you know, so I wanted to put that. Um, Cause he, the record I got with him, he just goes so many bars mm. talking about New York. Yeah, it's only right because he's from New York. Um, he loved New York and he raved the flag, unbelievable. Mm-hmm. But he just came off a stage from verses talking that shit. I am New York and yeah. this and that. I don't live here. I don't live there. I live here. Yeah. Started going crazy. So we made a record. And I sampled a um, old James Brown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, awesome. and he went crazy. I, you know that Jada Kiss is one of my favorites. So you know what I'm saying on my albums. If you notice every album I ever made, you notice that I always got something from the era of, you know, mm-hmm. our era. The you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, nice. but it's the foundation. But at the same time, is these guys are timeless. Jada Kiss is timeless. You can make a record tonight, tomorrow, don't matter what. He's one of the greats. Right. And he gave me something special. Has there ever been a moment where you've received the vocals and you might be had to send them back? Like you just weren't fans of the vocals? Um, I have, but after my, I've been in the studio. If I see something that's not going the right direction, I try to immediately stop it if they would accept my- Your critique. My critique and let me produce. Yeah. Um, and usually they do, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'll explain to them why, mm. you know what I'm saying? And then hopefully, and usually, the, the, you know, that's part of collaborating, being in okay. a room together. But then there's also times where I not, might not be sure that I learned something. Mm-hmm. You know, we can't act like we know it all. Because right. especially mm-hmm. with the new generation, you got to respect the new generation. Mm-hmm. They come with a new sound. They might teach you something. Mm. And they do. These new generation, they got different pockets. Yeah, right. No, they go in a pocket that's like. Yeah, like it's been done before. Like, yeah, shit. Now you like, is this real? <laughs> like, you know, the pockets they be in. Like yeah. when little baby did um, every chance I get. You know what I said? When I said keep, keep going. going. Yeah. And yeah. I, what else am I say? He let the little piece of the beat breathe. I was like, naturally, I just like keep going. Like, yeah. <laughs> this shit sounds so unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I think the most important thing when you make a record is the energy, mm. and everybody know what we need to do is. We got to go here with it. Not just come in here and say we made a record. Mm. And that, I think when people know on a Khaled album, that's what we do. We go here. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Khaled, why, why, I feel like you're like one of the last prominent DJs in the game. Like why hasn't there been a guy to emerge, I guess, in, in the wake of your success? I mean, B-Dot, I appreciate, because that means a lot to me because the thing is like, I'm one of the greats. Mm. 
I don't know if I said it on this interview, I don't know if I said it on Instagram or a post, um, but I always respect the ones before me, mm -hmm. and I'm the student, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But of, uh, what is it, decades, the last three decades, one of the greats. You know what I'm saying? Like, the same way I looked at Puff Daddy when I was coming up. It's one of the greats. Yeah. Don't be scared to say Cal is one of the greats because it's the truth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem saying that without blinking my eye at all. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Face. So I'm saying like, yeah. it's facts. But I just feel like in today's world, we need to show more love to each other. Mm. But does that feel you? Do you feel like you still have to silence some more non-believers? Does that motivate you? I mean, it, this fuel? We all use that for motivation. Even when it's not there, we tell ourselves it's there. Mm -hmm. It's just something, it's like a, a, something in our Credit head that we got to always, mm -hmm. yeah. but um, to be honest with you, I actually keep a bunch of the the uh, bullshit, the distortion away from me. Yeah. I don't really fall for it. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. because I wouldn't get, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if I fell for it. Yeah. So I'm pretty good at like, Blocking it out. Blocking it out. Yep, yep. Um, because I know it's not real. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I know what's real and I know what's not real. You know what I'm saying? I know when when you want to just talk shit and I know when, because at the end of the day is if you had to break it down, stop. Mm -hmm. like, like, at one point you're going to have to, and don't get twisted, there's so many people that do. Cause we can't take it away from the people that show me love, y'all mm -hmm. brothers, and, mm -hmm. and the fans. Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? The Fair fans, love. the reason Fair why love. we do this shit. And then all the other, my, my, my peers. My peers hit me up and tell me some shit. I can't believe it. Mm. These are the guys I look up to. Yeah. And they start telling me, yo, this, that, and that. I'm like, yo. You know what I'm saying? So it's a blessing. Awesome. But I appreciate the love. Thank you. You said win with us or watch win us win. Win with us or watch us win. Mm. Period. We like to win with you, Cali. That's right. Thank you, brother. That's right. Excuse my yeah, left. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Thank you, Cali. Cali. Thank appreciate you, brother. you, brother. God did. They God didn't believe did. Rap Radio was coming back. <laughs> Cali did. That's right. That's a fact. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, right right on podcast. Yeah. Bless up.